How's it guys? Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on using D Xdebug in a PHP 7.2 Laravel project. I'm using PHP Storm as my IDE and Ubuntu 18 as my OS. Uh, there were a lot of good tutorials online, but I just thought it would be cool to have it all in one place. You just follow this quick and, and you're all sorted. So what I've done is I've created a Laravel project and I'm going to open that up in PHP Storm. And um, while we wait for that to open, I'm going to create a controller called health controller. So what I'm going to do with health controller is I'm just going to return a little JSON object. So let's just quickly put that here. Um, oopsie, that's not, not what I want to say. Let's do something like that and return response. Um, and let's make that Cool. Okay, so I've got the ability to return a little JSON object. And what I'm going to do is go to the roots and go to the web roots and just replace this with this new controller that we have. So if I serve it up, um, PHP artisan serve, and I visit that from my browser, what you'll find is that it is working and I'm getting that JSON object, which is awesome. But um, the one problem is if I go to this controller and I put a breakpoint here and I press F5, what you'll find is that it it doesn't break at that point. And that's because I haven't set up PHP to allow for that yet. So let's do that quickly. So what you do is you, um, in your console, hit php-ini and look for this xdebug.ini file. If it's not there, the the, you might want to install it. Um, if that doesn't work, then what you need to do is just um, place it in the PHP INI file. But you can look at tutorials online on, on how that differs. But yeah, so we go to this file and you'll see that it's already got the Zend extension line. Um, then these are the lines that I found from other tutorials that worked. Um, the IDE key is PHP Storm for me, but it doesn't have to be that for you if you're using NetBeans or, or some other IDE. Cool, so we save those settings and um, now we can return to uh, our project. And at the top right here, you'll see a little phone that says start listening for PHP debug connections. Click that so that you are listening for them. Now we've got the, the breakpoint here. The final thing I'll just quickly run you through or just um, warn you about is if you go, if you search for debug and you go to this PHP debug, um, it's port 9000, perfect, and pretty much these settings are fine. Make sure that this is unchecked, this break at first line. If it's not, it will mean that every single time you do a request, it will break at the server.php file, which is pretty much the first um, the first file for entry. The problem with that is that uh, you kind of you don't want it to break there. You want it to break at your breakpoint. So, cool, it's set up correctly. We've got our breakpoint now, we and we're listening. So now, if I refresh this page, you'll see here that I get a pop-up that says that you've got this incoming connection from Xdebug. We accept that, and we're all sorted. So what you can see now is that we're in the debugger, and we can um, view variables and everything. So that's it. Um, that's Xdebug set up now uh, for PHP Storm.